want to make a quick video to explain loop vents, which is what you need to properly vent an island in your kitchen. And to first understand loop vents, you have to understand the basics of DWV, which is drain and waste venting. To put it simply, anything below this red circle goes through the waste drain and anything above this is air for venting. So having this air vent is absolutely necessary for all gravity dependent plumbing which includes all DWV plumbing. So DWV pipes look exactly like this. They're a bit thinner, as you can see here, than all other PVC, and that's just because pressure is not involved with DWV because it's all gravity-based. So if you're in the middle of installing an island counter and it happens to have a sink, there's not really any place to put that air vent for drainage. So this is why you need to install a loop vent. It's easy to understand why you need a loop vent if you just picture a regular air vent sticking out um, from your island because you need to get the air out of that system somehow and the air vent has nowhere else to go So instead of just sticking it straight through your counter and looking awful It's gonna go down below and through your floor This is what a loop vent looks like the water in the loop rises to this point before the curve and past this point The loop is filled with air the air goes below the floor and goes up to a point in the piping that is above the flood level on your island sink if you're in the middle of installing a loop vent Try to add a relief drain under the flooring in case flooding ever overtakes the air part of the, the loop and it just goes into the air vent. You don't want that. So if it has a relief drain, the air and the water will just get right out. Some plumbers say you shouldn't use these because it's easier to put in a mechanical vent under the sink that lets air into the system. So mechanical vents do work well, but the problem with them being mechanical is that they will fail over time. So if you compare this to a PVC loop that's made well and the fittings are properly sealed you shouldn't have a problem with the loop so if you wanted to make a proper seal on your pvc and you're not sure how i have another video that breaks down all the types of cement you can use to do this and if anyone has any questions or comments on loop vents maybe have some tips you want to share in the comments section let us know below and like the video if you liked it